Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of March, okay? So, what do we have for Libra for March? Hmm, Parrot. Someone will gossip about all of your secrets. Now, this is March. This is for March. So, I think in your last reading that I did for you, it was beware of a two-faced friend. Okay, it's not over yet. Someone will gossip about all of your secrets. So, about all. This is all of your You do still have that two-faced friend. Maybe you didn't listen to that reading or you didn't listen to me or you thought it was just a big joke or something. Uh, it's not a big joke. Okay? There's somebody around you that is a gossip. Alright? This person, there's no secret to them. Okay? Anything you tell them is <sighs> in one ear and out their mouth. So I would have to tell you, literally, that's what the parrot is. So you can let it go over your head if you want, and you can think that somebody is your friend. I think you probably know who this person is. Maybe you don't. Maybe you, maybe you think somebody is your friend and they're not. I wouldn't ignore it if I was you. Scales, keep your life in balance. Now that's your card, isn't it? To keep your life in balance, which is exactly what you want to do, you need to keep everything to yourself. Okay? You gotta keep things to yourself. Okay? In my experience, you have less than a handful of real friends. And that's just not you, that's everybody. That rabbit is look uh, rabbit. Rabbit? Rabbit. Why did rabbit come out? That bird, that parrot is looking right at those scales. They could be, this could have something to do with legalities. You can be very careful. This person gets you in trouble. Cause you problems, legal problems with their mouth. Deep spiritual connection. You do have a deep spiritual connection here that you are very much going to be focused on during March. Usually when somebody talks, it's because they're jealous. Right? They can't stand it. They really miss you a lot. Somebody misses you a lot. Door open. A new door is opening. Going through a new door. This is from darkness to light. You may be going through a new doorway. You may have a new spiritual connection. You may be leaving behind somebody that, you know, they miss you a lot. But hey, 
Doors closed and doors open. This is all about balancing those scales. It's about getting what you deserve. A new door is definitely, definitely, definitely opening for you. What do we have for Libra? New door, new home. There could, for some of you, there could be a change in a living situation. The chariot, determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. There is somebody, whether this is a friend or it's an ex or somebody that is jealous of you because of your success. You're going to be, you are having success. This is, this is basically congratulations. Your plans are being fulfilled because of the actions that you're taking, because of the direction that you are, you're taking charge, you're taking the wheel, you're in charge, you're in warrior mode, you know? You've overcome challenges, you're in a really good place. You're going in a new direction. You're finding success because of your hard work. There's definitely, definitely, definitely somebody around you that don't like it. Determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success from others. You will be getting acknowledgement of your success. You're, if you, and I feel like you have faced some opposition, congratulations, because you, there's like, I feel like there's reward here. A new door is opening. New key, you may be getting a key to something, new keys. I think you're leaving, I'm going to tell you, I think you're leaving behind a spiritual connection. I think you're going down a new path. I think that you are, and I think you have another spiritual connection here. That's what I think. The Emperor, both majors, stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, like I just said. Ambitious plans. I just said it with this card. This is this is like putting those plans in action, having mega, mega success. You're the boss. You're in charge. Getting a lot of respect from people. Some of you may be... Oh, I thought I'd turn that off. Some of you may be becoming a boss. You may be. You may be. Or you're just taking... You're in a position of leadership. You're in a you know, high ranking position. You are, if you're not, you're going to be, I mean, that's around the corner. This is headed towards stability and security, you know, because you've taken charge, like I already said in this one, now you're, now you're really being respected. You're the boss. Everybody can see it. They can see your organization. They can see your status. They can see your security. It's easy to see. ambitious plans moving some of you may definitely be moving there could be a change in a living situation some of you could be dealing with a cancer you could be dealing with an Aries but this could also be you that is just taking complete charge you're in charge if it's not you or there's somebody that is coming into your life this is somebody that is in a leadership position okay this is a leader this is a boss this is somebody that is a warrior this is somebody that is battle ready if it's not you there's somebody coming in this is somebody that faces challenges head on and doesn't you know that their determination and their drive propels them forward towards success this is really good. There is definitely a new door opening or there's somebody coming in that door. There could be a change in a living situation. There could be a sudden arrival here or a sudden move. Somebody could be moving, literally could be packing up and moving. Um, we do have taking charge, uh, taking the reins. It could even be a journey here, traveling, you know, going back and forth. If there's some sort of travel indicated really really uh, building security and structure in your life in a 
leadership position. I mean, the emperor is a leader, father, boss, judge, ruler, king, masculine energy, who is taking complete charge. Now, if you are single, there could be somebody that has come into your life or this person has entered your life like wildfire. Somebody misses you. Somebody does miss you a lot. There is jealousy around you. There is. It's focus forward. Keep your head forward. Keep it, keep it forward, okay? Don't look back. That chariot is don't look back, okay? Keep going. You are headed towards mega success, accomplishment, uh, recognition. Acknowledgement of success by others. People are going to see. Wow. Patience. Waiting. Patience paying off. This is over here. So somebody's patience is paying off. There's a deep spiritual connection that is headed towards success. Whatever that is. But you do have someone who's going to gossip about all your secrets. This is just, this may be a catalyst. I think that you're going to have a lot of self-control. I mean, uh, you are in control. I don't see you freaking out or anything like that. It's like looking back at this fool. Whoever this person is that's running their mouth, it's like... <laughs> I'm not even looking back at the fool. It's like, you go ahead and run your mouth, you fool. You know what I mean? It's like you have so much restraint here and so much self-control and stability and security within you. It feels like this person may try to uh, rattle your scales. <laughs> they are. There's somebody that's going to try to rattle you. Absolutely. Has something to do with a parrot or a rabbit or something like that. Could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing with a Cancer. But whoever it is, I don't think it's going to work. Because I think you're, you're, you're facing challenges head on. I don't think there's, at this point, I'm not sure that people can rattle you. Like right now, I don't think so. I mean, we all get rattled at times, but I see impeccable strength. You are going to be advancing to a leadership position. This is advancing to a leadership position. Or there is a leader that is flying into your life. Moving in. Somebody could be moving in or something like that. Purification. Beautiful. Renewal. Light. Waiting. Your patience is paying off. This is definitely a renewal, being in a beautiful place. It's like serenity. It's a time of growth as well. This is like when you see a sunflower, it's like reaching for the light, in the light, really in the spotlight as well. Hmm. Moving into a position of power, moving into a position of authority. Wow. Somebody's taking their position, whether it's you or somebody that's coming into the, your life. Could be somebody that's moving in. <laughs> I think I already said that. The Empress. This is the birth of a new life, right? This is your rebirth. This, it is. This is your blessing after going through all the pain that you've been through. This is so beautiful. This is being loved and cared for. This is unconditional love. It's a flood of abundance, money, and love flowing to you ease, with ease. 
Everybody can see your beauty. You're, you're glowing. It's time. It's your time. It's time to receive. It's time for you to receive. That's what this is, Libra. It's time for you to receive. You're in a very beautiful space. And it makes, whether you are male or female, it makes a lot of sense that somebody is jealous. A lot of sense. Because you're of your glow. Because of your ability to create. You have a create, you have a way of creating life, of making anything more beautiful. And if this isn't you, it's somebody in your life. It could be, I mean, if it's not you, it could be a Taurus, right? But it could be anybody. But this is like about creating love, creating life, creating new things, being loved and cared for. This is all about love and abundance. Having plenty. Look, it's time. It's harvest time. It's, it, I'm telling you what, it is time. This is so beautiful. And it's interesting because before this card came out, when I saw this one, I said, this is from darkness to light. And that is the light. Reaching for the light, coming out of the darkness into the light. It's time for a new life. This is the birth of a new life. It's absolutely beautiful. For some of you, I feel like you've been through a period, you know, like that gestational period where there's been a lot of contraction. There's contractions. There's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of suffering. There's been a lot of waiting. You know, you've had to be patient and wait and maybe go through a dark night of the soul moment, you know. Maybe you had to close the door on somebody from the past. Now you're quickly moving into a position of authority, a leadership position, something you've been waiting for, okay, is arriving. This is the patience is waiting, okay? Now you receive. This is a blessing. Acknowledgement of success by others. Everybody can see your growth. Everybody. There's beauty here. I mean, the Empress is the goddess of love. For some of you, there's a new baby or there's a conception, you know, conception of a new life or a birth or a new love or something like that or a new project we do have a conception here moving moving fast towards success moving towards leadership position taking charge somebody really sees your beauty they see they do or they whoever this empress is somebody is moving towards the empress and if you know you represent the empress Male or female, it is time for you to receive a blessing. This is miracle, right? Empress gives birth to a miracle after a lot of suffering. And life changing, you know. Devil. Devil. So the devil is a toxic energy. It's a toxic bond. It's a codependency of some sort. It's a magnetic attraction. Typically, the devil is lust, greed, materialism, unhealthy attachments. Facing the devil. Because the chariot is facing the devil. Facing it head on. Facing the demons. Facing your de... You are facing your demons, aren't you? Facing your codependencies. Facing your ego. Facing your fears with strength and determination, facing your own trauma. That's what's going on here. You're facing your own demons. All your desires are going to be met by the looks of things. It's time. It's time to face your demons. And maybe it's fear. Ego is fear-based. 
Maybe it's fear of attachment or there's addictions or there's some sort of fear here because chariot is replace your fear with faith. The devil is fear, okay? When people, you know, act out of their devil energy, they are doing it because of their ego and ego is fear-based of acceptance and the whole nine yards. Oh, taking charge of your toxic behavior. We all have it, so I'm not just pointing a finger at you. I see you really bossing up. Really, 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 really bossing up. There is a bond here. And there's, there's, a, there's a deep spiritual connection. Um, there's also a magnetic attraction here. All of your desires are going to be met. Just so you know, there's plenty. You are going to have plenty. There's, there's some sort of sensuality here as well. There's a sensual connection here. Um, a very passionate connection as well. Your, your needs, all your desires are going to be met. Oh, oh boy. We got two, the devil, again, and the page of pentacles. It is reversed, okay? Uh, the devil, I mean, we got it twice, that ain't good. This is double demons. <laughs> You're gonna be facing, de facing demons for sure. Okay, you are definitely gonna be facing your demons, facing your trauma bonds, facing any addictions, facing any obsessions, you are. You are during the month of March. You may be tempted, okay? You may be tempted to go back to something that is toxic, an addiction or a person or a trauma bond. You may be tempted to do that. Just saying. Anyhow, the devil is temptation and a need to be very, very, very careful. The devil is in control, but you have to say no. The page of pentacles reverse is no, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in this toxic bond. No, I'm not interested in this codependency. No, I'm not interested in bonding myself to this. <clears throat> I mean, the page of pentacles in reverse is basically, you know, a dead end. Letting something go. Because in the upright, it's taking an opportunity. I think you are going to be turning your back on things that are toxic and unhealthy. Whether this is an addiction or an obsession or a person or whoever it is that tempts you and uh, holds you back. I think that this person is going to be shut down. I do. This is not interested. The page of pentacles reverses. I'm not interested. I am not interested in that kind of behavior. I'm not interested. You are definitely, definitely, definitely going to be tempted to go down the wrong path. But I feel like you have a lot of restraint. A lot. You're going to be facing multiple demons, just so you know, because we got two of them right here. Here we <laughs> So, that ain't good. Okay, that ain't, I mean, it's just the way it is. You are definitely going to be facing some demons in March. You're going to have to have restraint, you know. You may have to beware of pride, okay. Beware of pride because the ego is, I mean, the ego, the devil is ego, which is all about pride. So you may have to definitely beware of pride, you know, letting it go to your head. Letting, I mean, it happens to everybody. It does. Um... Taking charge, stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans, taking charge of something that is unhealthy in your life. You are turning your back on an unhealthy bond and you're doing it to be loved and cared for because you're creating a new life. Somebody here is creating a new life and it is absolutely beautiful. Acknowledgement of success by others do not let it go to your head and you know i'm not sure that you will but the devil i mean the devil is, is ego i can't make that shit up and we have success in both of these cards i mean we have two the devil underneath it twice i mean that is ego so be keep your ego in check i'm just saying 
It happens to all of us. A lot of us do let our egos get out of control and then we, we end up not getting the recognition because egos are ugly. I think you're going through a period of rebirth. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting for something. For, maybe there is somebody here that misses you. I think that you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. I think it's too late. I think that you're breaking free from that bond. I feel like you're going through a new door. I think it's really uh, been a difficult challenge. I think you've been through some, some significant pain, some significant trauma. It's like a double dose, okay? I think you've been through some significant trauma. I think that you're taking charge, you're moving, you're going in a new direction, you're in a position of authority, you're going to be saying no to toxic people, places, things, whatever it is, and I think you're going to be doing it, you know, it's almost like double duty, it's like no, 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 I don't want to have anything to do with that, I don't want to have anything to do with that, no, 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 okay, that's what I see. Not interested and any type of codependency, whatever it is, or what is this devil, devil twice, devil twice, my goodness gracious, I ain't good, Let's see if we can get that light to go off, but guess not. I was trying to get it off of that card. Must be that light over there. Anyhow, what is this devil? Oh, oh. Eight of wands reverse. No progress. Coming to a halt. No communication. Stop. No, no more. You're not going to be communicating with people that are toxic, that are unhealthy. I see you putting it all to a complete stop. It's almost like no. That's what I hear is no. You telling people no. No. Shutting people down. I think you're going to be shutting people down. There's no progress in this toxic bond, this toxic behavior. It's like putting it to a stop. Something is coming to a halt. There's, there's definitely something that is coming to a halt. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. I'm not sure. We also have Cancer. Aries. Not interested in putting in any effort. Not interested in doing this anymore. It's time for this to stop. Creating a new life. Closing a door. I feel like... I feel like you're making some cuts. This is the sword of truth. This is the sword that cuts. I think that you're cutting things out of your life that do not serve you. This is the sword of power. I think you have a new, new clarity. I think that you have a new idea. I think that you have a new view on things. A realization this is an awakening right I feel like there's going to be you're gonna be making some cuts in your life and they propel you towards success this is a new truth a new realization of the truth taking a new approach this is a taking a new idea you know this is a new idea you're gonna be shutting down people that are toxic in your life. You're no longer interested in giving them your energy by the looks of things. Determination and self-control brings you stability and success. I see you being very in control. <laughs> You're going to be getting a lot of acknowledgement from others. So be prepared. You may find yourself, you know, people may be seeking you out for advice. Or you may find yourself in the spotlight because the devil is here twice. You know, people will gravitate towards you. You may have to really discern situations and, you know, shut people down that are toxic to keep your momentum Good luck.